Hello everybody. Today we're going to be using cloud init deployment to set up a NGNIX Linux VM in an Azure environment. So right away, as usual, step one, sign into portal.azure.com and let's get right into this. First things first, we're going to create a resource group so we can start labbing. And I'm going to create a new resource group and you can name it anything that you would like. I'm going to name mine Balmora. Set it to East US, make sure all the regions are the same going forward. So next thing we're going to do is go to virtual machines, click add for a resource group. We're going to do Balmora and our virtual machine name. We're going to name it Ubuntu NGNIX and it's going to be East US. We're going to go ahead and use the Ubuntu server. And my apologies, it's actually NGINX. And if we go under size, go to see all sizes, and we're going to use the B2 general purpose size. Go ahead and hit select. Because a server like this doesn't need a 8 gigabytes of memory. We could just do 4 gigabytes of memory. For the authentication type, we'll just leave it at password. So we'll put in a username. We'll put in Vivek. And for the password, I'll put in Morrowind123, exclamation mark. We'll allow SSH as a port. Before we create, we're going to go under Advanced. And here is where we're going to be using that cloud init deployment script. We could type in cloud config, upgrade true packages that we're going to be using are the N. NGINX. We'll hit review and create. Now, once our deployment has been complete, we can go ahead into our resource and connect to this virtual machine via SSH. We're going to go ahead and just copy our username and the IP address. Open up the cloud shell. And we're going to have to create a storage. So we'll use an existing resource group, the Balmora. And for a storage account, we'll do Balmora storage, file share, Balmora files, and we're going to create that storage account. So right away, we can type in SSH and paste in that username in the IP address. It's going to ask us if you want to connect, type in yes, and it'll ask for the password. Now we can just verify that we are indeed connected to the VM by typing in hostname. And there's Ubuntu NGINX. Then we can check the version that our NGINX is running on and to validate that we did install during our deployment. The command for that is NGINX-V for version. And now we can see that it is installed and we're using version 1.14 for Ubuntu. And next we can do, we can see the system status of MGINX, and we can see that it is active and running. So if we did not deploy it with the cloud init deployment script, then we would have had to install that later on after we spun up the virtual machine. But since we put it in during the deployment, it's one less step that we had to do. So I'm hoping you, you found some value in what I had to say today. Hoping you had some fun. I know I had some fun. And I'll see you all on the next lab. Thank you for watching.